Hello, I'm Meena Seher, Technical Marketing Engineer for Prisma SD-WAN at Palo Alto Networks. I'm excited to show you the industry's first next-gen, app-defined and autonomous cloud-delivered SD-WAN solution. Palo Alto Networks Prisma SD-WAN ensures exceptional user experience with app-defined policies and simplifies network and security operations using machine learning and automation. In this demonstration, we will walk you through how easy it is to troubleshoot, make policy modifications at scale, and review rich data analytics to reduce that mean time to innocence for network admins. In this topology, there are a few branch sites and a couple of data center sites. The branch sites have already been onboarded with Palo Alto Networks Prisma Access for pervasive security. Let us start this demonstration with branch two, where the IT admin has been getting complaints from end users about accessing Office 365. The first thing I would do as a network admin is check the overall connectivity at the site. And thankfully, right here from the map, we can see that the site is green and looking good from a connectivity standpoint. Let us take a closer look at what branch two is composed of. Branch two has an internet circuit and an MPLS circuit, and multiple Secure Fabric links and third-party VPN links. Secure Fabric links are the VPNs, and the map shows that the VPNs are healthy. And our connection to Prisma Access is looking good as well. Everything is looking good from a layer three perspective. Taking a quick look at the overall link quality for the site, I can see over the past day, the link quality is solid and there is very minimal latency, packet loss, and jitter. And this is where legacy SD-WAN solutions would stop, and this is also where they fall short in being able to solve real application problems for end users. I'm going to show you how we can go above and beyond layer three, and not just identify, but also fix application performance issues. Since we are taking a next generation application defined approach, let us check what the application analytics show us for Office 365. What I can see from the application health chart is that the application experience was good initially, but with time, the performance seems to have degraded. Now let us take a look at the layer seven transaction statistics for the application, and this shows an extreme amount of initialization failures. In order to understand why we are seeing these failures, let us take a look at the path policy defined for this application. I'm going to find Office 365, and here I see the trusted SAS rule that matches the application. Looking at the allowed paths for this application, we have direct internet as the only option. This is a trusted SAS application, hence we are allowing this traffic to go directly onto the internet. Let us double check to see if there's a broader issue with reachability at the site and see if other applications are experiencing problems. We are back on the network activity page and let us check if another trusted application like say Salesforce is having problems. As we can see here, this is not a generic network issue as Salesforce is working just fine and we are not seeing any layer seven errors in the same time period. So what could be going wrong? there could be a middle mile issue going on in the service provider network. Thankfully, Prisma SD-WAN being an app-defined autonomous solution, we can recognize these failures. And we are not just reporting issues, we are going to react to these application performance issues. And in order to do that, I need to allow an alternate path in my policy. We have already onboarded Prisma Access for branch two. I'm going to locate my branch, find the policy rule that matches Office 365, and we are simply going to add a third-party VPN backup path to a service, and that service is going to be Prisma Access. Now, in a matter of seconds, we can see the Prisma SD-WAN solution react to the initialization failure seen with Office 365 and dynamically move this traffic to the third-party VPN path. Clearly, this was a middle mile problem and legacy SD-WAN vendors could not have caught this issue with their packet-based approach and visibility at layer three level only, and hence would have continued to send traffic on the same path. Prisma SD-WAN took the app-defined approach 
recognized the problem happening at layer 7 level and worked around it per the application policy by sending traffic on a different path, thus enabling customers to meet their SLA and business objectives. Let us take another example to further assert the fact that the Prisma SD WAN solution can quickly direct application layer issues, allowing a network admin complete visibility into the problem and its root cause. In this example, there have been complaints from end users that web point of sale application has been responding very slowly. In a retail setting, this can be a disaster. So I'm going to check my network activity page and see what is happening with the web point of sale application. The transactions are all looking fine. There are no major layer seven errors. But when I look at the application response time, I can see the application is experiencing very high server response time. I can also see that NTT and RTT have been stable for the application. Now this is clearly indicative of a server side issue and not a network issue. This level of visibility allows the mean time to innocence for the network to be quickly established. And using these rich application analytics, network admins can significantly cut down on the time taken to troubleshoot network issues and also cut down up to 99% of IT tickets by automatically responding to network events and auto-correcting application performance issues so the end user is guaranteed consistently good application experience. Talking about IT tickets and troubleshooting network problems, we need to talk about the Prisma SD-WAN event management solution. Let us take an example of a network flap event at the data center due to an unstable connection with the service provider. This could generate a cascade of alarms at all the connected sites. Imagine going through hundreds of alarms and even worse, manually acknowledging all of these alarms because it's a known issue. That is one nightmare of a job. Apart from this being tedious, the most important problem here is that real issues are lost in the barrage of alarms. And this directly results in increase in troubleshooting time and potentially can even bring the network down due to important network events that went unnoticed. With the Prisma SD-WAN event management solution, using data mining and machine learning, we are automatically able to identify the root cause of the network event and suppress all other related alarms. This allows the network administrator to identify network issues faster and exercise full control over network events. And all of this is done without any manual configuration required from the customer. Let us take this scenario into consideration. This branch ion is completely isolated from network and has lost all connectivity going in and out of the site and hence the site is not connected to the controller as well. A single underlying root cause like a service provider outage can cause a flood of alarms from different subsystems. Operator has to go through hundreds of network events and correlate manually to identify the root cause. But with our AI ML based event correlation technique, we are able to auto aggregate related network events and present to the network admin just a single root cause event. And all of this is done automatically with no manual intervention. As you can see here, there are multiple secure fabric link down alarms which aggregate even more network events and they have all been aggregated into one site connectivity down alarm. Customers can also enjoy endless flexibility using the Prisma SD-WAN event policy management solution. This allows customers to have extreme visibility into network events that matter to them from a business perspective and this can be achieved by escalating the priority of desired network events. These events can be chosen from a variety of match criteria. Event policies also allow customers to suppress network events that are known or expected or generally of less priority. An example would be a scheduled maintenance window scenario and the network admin can choose to suppress alarms originating from a particular site or a circuit during a specific period of time. The network admin can also create an event policy rule to be alerted if a circuit or an interface flaps a certain number of times during an interval or can also escalate an alarm if it is standing for more than a period of time. All these use cases that we just discussed showcase our capability to guarantee an exceptional user experience for our customers using our app-defined AI ML-based autonomous SD-WAN capabilities which help to create a self-healing and self-remediating network. And that brings us to the end of this demo. Thank you for watching.